What is up guys, welcome back to the channel, this is Dr. Hamas Tang and today we'll be doing a speed RAM temperature Geekbench in a 3D mark test over here. It's been a while and we're going to do it against two very powerful and expensive flagship phones in 2023. So in the first corner here, we have the iPhone 15 Pro Max and it's going up against the Galaxy S23 Ultra. So what we like to do is of course check out all the speed and RAM management on both of these two phones and also this is indirectly a battery test as well to compare both of these two phones. So the first thing that we like to do over here is of course to boot up these two phones over here and see which one would start up faster. Normally iPhones do have a faster boot up. So over here we have the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 inside the Galaxy phone and we have the latest A17 Pro inside the 15 Pro Max. So as I've seen, and as you mentioned before, the thing is already here. The iPhone 15 Pro Max right into it very, very fast indeed. Whereas the Galaxy S23 Ultra does take some time. So over here we do have 8 gigs of RAM up against 12 gigs of RAM over here. See all the apps are all ready to go. This one does take some time for the Galaxy S23 Ultra and we are almost ready to go. So both of these two phones are connected to the same Wi-Fi network settings over here and also I will disable Bluetooth on this and you can see here Bluetooth is also disabled and both of them are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. In terms of the display settings, both of them are running at 120Hz and also at maximum brightness on both of these two phones. So we'll go to the apps that over here. And also just to let you guys know that all apps have been closed on both of these two phones prior to this restart here. So we're gonna make sure that everything is fair and ready to go. Let's check out the temperatures over here. So it's at 32.4 and on the iPhone 15 Pro, it's still very low, so 32.1, so not too bad. So now I'm gonna start up this once here. One, two, three, let's go. Okay, looks like the iPhone does take the cake for this one. Whereas the iPhone, whereas the S23 Ultra is just a little bit behind. Next up here, we have Pokemon Go. Okay, it looks like another win for the 15 Pro Max. Whereas the S23 Ultra is just again slightly behind it. And next up here, we go to YouTube. Okay, just a slight win over here from the S23 Ultra. Also, quite similar on both phones. And you can see that battery, both of them have been charged up to 100% for this test. And now let's go to another huge app over here, PUBG Mobile. Okay, looks like the S23 Ultra is done, whereas the phone here, the 15 Pro Max, is just slightly behind it. And now, let's check out the temperatures over here. 32.4, still maintaining it very, very well. 33.8. Slightly warmer here on the 15 Pro Max. This one is here assembled in China, just to let you guys know. Okay, and yeah, this one is a bit slower here, but you had to load up a different page. Okay, going on to Facebook. About the same, I think the S23 Ultra does take the cake. And going on to Shopee app here. Very, very similar indeed. Let's go to YouTube Music. Okay, again, very similar. Going on to settings. Very fast on both phones. Let's go to Manchester United. Okay, I think the iPhone 15 is done. Whereas on the Premier League app, 15 Pro just slightly ahead. Let's go to Netflix here. Okay. Just the S23 Ultra, going on to the camera app. Okay, I'm gonna switch the cameras here.
not too bad when switching in let's try the one more time and then the shutter button okay this one does have the night mode on and then now let's go on to TikTok. okay i think very close on both phones let's go to x here twitter x looks like the s23 ultra let's go on to the play store okay looks like we have it on the s23 and that is it so now let's check out the temperatures here 36.1 so definitely getting warmer and on the 15 pro 36 degrees so not too bad very very similar indeed on both of these two phones now let's do a ram test here okay this one still holds up very very well pubg mobile Ah, oh, a refresh here on the S23 Ultra, Google Chrome, pretty much same. Let's go to Facebook, no refreshes here. Let's go on to Instagram, also no refreshes. Let's go to Manchester United, another refresh here. And then let's go on to Shopee. Okay, no refreshes. So a little bit of some refreshes here on the Galaxy S23 Ultra. I'm going to do a mini GPU test over here. So both of these two phones, I'm going to export this 4K video into 4K and we're going to see which one will come out on top. Wow, and surprising that the F23 Ultra does take the cake over here battery wise and sorry the temperature 36.3 and on the iphone 35.9 so very very similar indeed and now let's check out the temperature see i mean the battery here 100 percent and 98 percent on the s23 ultra okay so right now we're going to do a geekbench test on both these two phones both of them running in at the geekbench 6 so one two three let's go and see which one will come out so battery wise is at 96 whereas on the 15 pro max still at 100 percent it's gonna be pretty interesting so yes i'll see you guys at the end where we do get the results Okay, so we are done with the iPhone 15 Pro Max, maximum score over here, 2008, and a 7001 multi-core score, very, very amazing. The S23 is behind it over here, and it seems like with Geekbench 6, this is the first time actually using it, it seems longer than the previous version, maybe more things to run over here. And now we're gonna go on to the GPU in a short bit, but before we do that, let's check out the temperatures here. So it's at 36.4, not too bad at all. So we're gonna give some time for the S23 Ultra to finish, which wouldn't take too long over here. Okay, and also we are done with the S23 Ultra. Not too bad in terms of score, 1009, which is 1000 be behind it, and also 5000 multi-core score. Temperature-wise, also very, very nicely, 36.4. Okay, so we're gonna run this test. One, two, three, let's go. And of course, battery wise, 99 up against 95% on the S23 Ultra. So we are done here with the Apple 50 Pro Max again coming out on top. So the score here, 27,003. And let's check out the temperatures here. 34.7, so not too bad, I would say. Let's try to point it upwards here. 37.2, 36.9. So again, not too bad. It definitely feels warmer in hand. Over here, we can see that the GPU 9000, way, way behind it. Temperature-wise, 37.1 or 36.9, so very similar indeed compared to both of these two phones. But you can see the scores are very different and but you don't really tell from the time spent taken on both of these phones. So yeah, these are the scores they can get. All right, so now I'm gonna do a simple 3D mark test over here. So battery-wise, 93 up against 99%. And now let's just run this test. And again, I'll see you guys at the end when we do get the results.
Okay, so we are done with the S23 Ultra already here. Nice score of 11,008 and a average frame rate of 71. Whereas this one is about 60, whereas the score is maxed out. Temperature wise, 39.8, definitely very, very warm. And on the iPhone, 42.3. So you can see, oh no, sorry, 39.7 ish. 38 actually, all right, so not too bad at all. All right, so that is it, the cutscene to run the slingshot test, but these are just the overall results. And it seems like the GPU performance on this is actually better than the iPhone 15 Pro Max over here, the A17 chip. But overall, in terms of everyday performance, they are very, very close to each other. So if you guys enjoyed this video, do click the like and smash that subscribe button down below. Let me know what you guys think about this test. And of course, in the comment section down below. If you guys want to follow me on my social, you can do so on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and also here on YouTube at Dr. Hubbard I'll see you guys in the next one.